Hi everybody, John Locke here. And today I've got this lock and I have to tell you, I have no idea who makes it, what it is. Um, it is a, uh, a lock that has no branding on it. I got it on eBay with a, a lot of different uh, other locks. And uh, I cut this one in half and I used it to make my first challenge lock, the other half of it, um, which I now have sent out. Uh, but this side, I never picked so i just i opened it up uh this was in a real bad shape complete it must have been in a swamp i mean it was completely covered in mud and i had to take a um, metal um, brush uh, on the dremel to clean this all up and get all the dirt and everything off of it i put it in a bath of dw40 uh to get it you know all, you know all that stuff out of it um, but i was really surprised when i opened it up that it had three spools in it, um, anti-bump springs in it. So it's not a you know a cheaply made lock. I, I just have no idea uh, who makes it or where it came from. Keyway's pretty open, so um, that at least is not uh, too bad here. So I've never picked it before, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, figure I give this a, a pick now that it's uh, cleaned up a bit and I can actually use it. Let's see. Yeah, if anybody has any idea on who might manufacture this lock, I'm located in Germany, uh, if that's a little bit of a hint. But a Euro cylinder, no branding on it, with spools and anti-bump pins, just seems interesting to me. Okay, just feeling my way through the lock from back to front. Now going back to some of the back locks. Got a few clicks here. Like I said, I cleaned this up with DW40. I haven't added any other type of of lubricant to it though. I, I mean, I know DW4 is not a lubricant, um, so I haven't added any, any lubricant and stuff, and I can just kind of feel in the lock, it's not totally smooth, and I should probably go ahead and do that as well for this one uh, before I put it away. Yeah, I'm looking for something with some Counter rotation now, not finding it. Trying, you know, to rotate back a little bit just in case and get something freed up. But yeah, having a hard time right now finding a pin that feels like it's binding. Something on three right there, a little click. So maybe that did it. Maybe I need to come in. Might just not be getting the pins high enough around the warding there. Let's try a shallower pick, but I can pick off the the wording here. Uh, maybe that was it on two. Okay, that was it and got an open. Well, that was fun and uh, yeah, enjoyed doing this. If you have any information on this lock, know anything about it, uh, would love to know. Uh, but uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great rest of your day and great rest of your week. Bye for now.